Sophia! She's improved a lot! The girls have to feel confident and comfortable in front of audience members. Oh, they teach them how to take selfies? Interesting. I need that. <laughs> Whether that's in person or online. It's so true though, like I tend to pull a lot of my biases from like people who are strong performers. And I feel like it's because there's a connection there that exudes authenticity or it's being drawn from somewhere that helps communicate to an audience. I think Manon has a lot of natural ability, just her expressions and how she's connecting with audience members. Like you feel like you're almost sharing breath with them in that moment. Like you're like, my experience is being reflected through their experience. See how breathy that is? Mm -hmm. Like it's gorgeous. Like that needs to be the energy that you give more. It helps to think about how you relate to the material that you're dancing or that you're singing. To think about like how can I be as like honest and like real and like connected in this moment to the energy that's on the stage or in the audience. Oh, wait a minute. oh she looks like um Sierra. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. She's improved so much. That was so much better. Lexi obviously is the biggest injury right now. Focus on your performance, focus on your mental health. Yeah. Putting all of my energy into the vocals and visual performance. It's good because she's strong in those two. Okay, UJ. <laughs> he does not look happy. I feel like she's lacking energy. Face is better. He still doesn't seem happy though. She's getting better at performing. You know, you can see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See. <laughs> she was scared. She was like, Please. <laughs> I can't remember her name. But she was saying she sees herself in Danny too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like so good hearing that because she was stressed about it. I love that for her. I'm so proud of my girl. One thing Megan gonna do is surf face and eat the choreography up. What does she do? Oh god, what? What's happening? They're scared. That's what I'm saying. You have to understand what the song means to you. It's going to mean something different to each person, and that's where the authenticity shines through. Mm. Wow. See? Oh, he looks so defeated. I felt like he even was reading it as disrespect, you know, to his craft, which is, mm. is K pop. Yeah. Oh, guys. They need this level of feedback and honesty. I don't think Daniela would have been as amazing as Daniela was today if she didn't get that feedback. Agreed. Yeah. I'm stressed. Seven new people? Yeah. Well, so what are they gonna do? And cut people. There's been like a drastic change in like... Dynamic. You know, with the, the, like the vibe with the girls. Twisting each other's ankles in your slip. <laughs> No! It's just like getting so much more serious. Because it's like you could get comfortable and then they bring in all those new people and you start to feel a bit more insecure about your place. And if you're fitting what they want, you know? I just came back from rehearsal, but now I'm getting ready for prom. What? They let her go to her prom? I'm so happy! I think you should want a lingo for prom. Oh, her mom is beautiful! Very unapologetic. Look at her outfit. Period. And so me and my sister grew up doing Bollywood dance. I love it. Embracing it. <laughs> so cute, please. Got a little butterfly glimpse twin. So big. I think that's what I love so much about K-pop. 
just how everything's very grand. Yeah. That's what I miss. Like, I miss being on stage and having, like, grand performance. I feel like you don't get it as much with film acting as you do with musical theater or things like that. That's why I eat K-pop up. I love the attention to detail, how dynamic and synchronized performance-based it is. Going to prom, it feels like I have a little taste of, like, my normal life. <laughs> See my friends and it, like it'll be nice. I'm like a little escape. <laughs> Lara and Menon are getting to see their friends. Is it because these friends are local to LA and the other girls didn't have friends in LA? Makeup is not something that I'm like, oh, like I'm insecure, like I need to wear it. It's just like something I enjoy. Yeah. It brings everything together, you know? We're about to have makeovers and I don't know what they're gonna do. Oh, she's scared. <laughs> they were saying that I'm like just a little too like sexy or like provocative, like for the project. Um... I said to her, I need you to pull it back. And her pullback is like somebody's like five steps forward. <laughs> But that's why she shines. That's why she's a star. That's why she's my wrecker. I'm like, oh, you know, the confidence, the energy, the audacity. Like, she's, oh, everything. I think it's hard to navigate how much they want me to tone it down and, like, not letting my ego get in the way. She built up so much confidence over years. Unshakable confidence doesn't match with let's be a bit more demure. She's a luxurious girly. Where I can be my truest self. Look at her walk. Look at her. I mean, come on. So I want to see photos of your 13 to 15 era. Oh. Showing who you are. Being themselves. I feel like, are you as authentic as you are at 13 to 15? I think they just want to see them more in their youth before they, like, start wearing makeup and develop sense of style and whatever. Like, they want to see them in, like, their more natural state. 15 wasn't that long ago for me. I'm just, like, cringing at myself. <laughs> Oh, okay. this is a picture. I of love like curly, that photo. Natural hair. Um, She's so cute. What's your thoughts about going back dark? I love her dark hair too. Like there's like a lot of girls with like dark curly hair. That's why I like to keep it blonde. So I feel like this kind of makes me look different. She wants to stand out. That's how I feel when I lighten my hair a bit more. And it kind of reminds me of like Shakira, so. Hmm. My friends are like, don't get rid of the blonde. I was like, okay, don't listen to your friends. I was like, I think we need to talk through this. <laughs> she dyed it right back too. <laughs> I think the nose ring too. Yeah. I love that they let her keep the bendy. Uh, well, we have potatoes. We have potatoes for everything. <laughs> I have like a whole traditional like Chinese dress. Mm. 20 some girls. Oh my gosh. All from all around the world. Oh my god, Lexi. They're so cute. Uniformity while celebrating all their individualness. Mm -hmm. Desire is to have them feel like they belong. Okay. I mean, the goal for the uniform is this idea of an academy. They said, we're about to pop off with this. Thank you. My mom has been a huge inspiration for me all my life. The wonderful Wendy Leon. Aww. She's funny, she's super vibrant, and she has incredible style. Oh yeah, in the kitchen, in that fit, period. And that informed me and my clothing. My mom's very like that. She dresses like very classy, very colorful, very bold, very put together. Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm like, I just want to be cute. I just want to be like aesthetic, cottagecore. Ooh, I love that picture of Emily. The side part's cute. Oh, they dyed her hair blonde? <laughs> I don't love the blonde on Carly. I feel like they should have kept it black. I don't need your opinion. Has done Ariana's hair, Dua Lipa's hair, Lana's hair. I'm worried about what they're about to do to Samara's hair. Mm, I love pink. Oh, pretty. Is the color gonna be like my natural color? That looks like black. Oh, Denny. She's gonna feel like she's look she looks pale. Baby, I look so much younger. It's cute though. Oh, she bleaching. Oh, they're dyeing her hair red. Okay. It's, oh, it looked natural. It came out pretty natural looking. This is the uniforms that I always wanted to wear at school. They are cute. Celebrating their individuality. Oh, I like the color mineral. Would you wear something like this in real life? Yes. Oh my god, the shorts. No, get to know. So cutie. I felt like a Barbie. You want a part of me? Ooh, period. <laughs> Oh, they gave Emily the extensions she wanted. They look so cute. 
I'm glad they stay true to Lexi's like pixie vibe. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like that. Latina mommy. <laughs> it's what Danny does all the time, right? Wait. Emily moved in. So it's Adele and Emily. And then it's Ua and May. Cute. And then Yunche, Nayong, and Sophia. Mm. It's like crazy how much the house has changed. Mm. You should queen. Tara Henny. Sundayte. So cute. So menga. Arimas. Tokuni Hokawa. Amari. There's not much else. Chikaga Ipaimas. Oh, she wasn't kidding. I love deer. Oh, I just realized my pillows were super crooked. Sorry, guys. It was probably not cute to look at. <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, Yunche. It hurts me seeing how close they all got because they didn't get to stick together. She was gone, like having her surgery. It felt really like empty, but oh, her bestie. I really feel like Lexrella is back on track. Yeah, Lexrella. I hope they're still close, like outside of the program. I hope they still talk a lot. This is the last evaluation. I mean, that's an experience no one else is going to be able to like relate to, you know? Other than like this set of girls. This is the final end of month eval. I mean, other people can relate to it, but not like this exact dynamic. It's hard to say goodbye to the training and development program. Why does Missy look so stressed, like tired and defeated every time they pan to her? I'm like, what does she know that we don't? Like, look, like everybody else is like locked. She just looks so like. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> At least she took it graciously. Tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Azrella, bitch. Like, you go off. Yes. <laughs> I love it. She didn't get you. The Sanyang Pongshuna got in Goa, too. Check out the key again. That's another thing to consider. Like some people might be more skilled in other things, but it's most important to establish that balance so it feels like a unified group dynamic and not like a soloist and backup dancers, you know? Emily worked hard on her ear. She is unrecognizable to the person that came in. What's wrong with me? Yeah, she sounds very like bright. Laura, just watch when like Danny singing lead. Make sure you think about that and like hold back. Your face. So that lead is still out front and be the background singer. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna pause for a sec. I feel like I tend to gravitate a lot in my bias lines towards performers that are on like the entire number if that makes sense so like if you have somebody that's like killing it from the jump their face is on their dance is like really sharp and they have little nuances within the choreography that are making them stand out and that are enhancing the overall vibe my favorite thing to see is when they kind of go into go into the background and their face is still on and their energy is still at like 100%. Um, but here it seems like they're trying to say when somebody else is forward, like pull back. And I don't know, that's like a very interesting dynamic because it's like, yeah, of course you do want each person to shine. But I also feel like if you have a group of performers, like really strong performers, then that's not necessarily needed because everybody's on. So... I don't know, like, because you're always told don't look tired or don't look like you're giving up mid-performance because that's going to make the audience feel tired, you know? But, like, if you're in the background and you tone it down a little bit so other people are... I don't know! What do you guys think? Do you think that everybody should be giving, like, 100% the entire time? Or do you think when somebody else is forward, the other people should, like, hold back so they can shine more? Or do you think the ultimate goal should be for everybody to be at like 100 so that it doesn't matter when someone's forward and other people are back. Each person still gets to shine and everybody gets to perform to their best. I don't know. Interesting. Does that make sense? Maybe I sound crazy. I don't know. Ooh, who is that? I'm very proud. Sophia! The waist. She said. She's snapping. Nikki literally called me boring one time. And I feel like ever since then, like something switched. I literally perform for my life each time I dance. Yeah. 
Somebody said that Cat's Life performs like they're always fighting to debut, and I love it. With Megan in the past, I've been like, oh, you know, she's a follower. Like, she'll need an Adela or a Sophia or somebody to look up to. But after this month, I'm like, oh, maybe she doesn't. Period. Adela, I just want to say. Ooh, she ate. That was great. Um, I just think that you've grown a lot. Oh, she's getting emotional. I'm so lucky to have experienced that with you. Sophia! She's improved a lot. I am literally in awe right now. They ate down. Ooh! We have no time before we go public. And no matter if you're eliminated next week or not, no one could ever take away what happened here. Mm. How much you've grown as singers and dancers and artists and women. Well, they're stressed about people leaving. Duh. I'm just so, so grateful for you guys. Oh, gosh. 감사한 마음이 좀 가졌으면 좋겠어요. 진짜. She put her whole heart into this project. Dang. 여러분들이 아는 것보다 더 여러분들이 사랑하고. It's like mom, come on. Oh. I'm worried, to be honest. Why? Why? Selling out arenas, going into stadiums. Why can't success be creating a group with good chemistry that makes fans happy and the girls are happy? Like, I know ultimately it's a product, it's a service, like that's how they think of it, but like, it's also about how you make people feel. And if the girls don't feel good, how are they gonna make others feel good, you know? They can't change their nationality or the color of their skin. If people are judging them because of that, that scares me. Hmm. It's so stressful. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that was episode four. What just happened to my voice? <clears throat> okay, that was episode four of Cat's Eye Pop Star Academy. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching with me. If you did, please don't hesitate to dance and over that subscribe button. Give it a little tappy tap. Again, it really helps me out when you guys like and comment and share. It helps more people find the videos, find the channel, which only helps me make better content for you guys and get it out more frequently. Um, like I said, I have my Patreon down below if you want to watch the fully uncut version, moment to moment with me, uh, no edits, and I also, it's $4 a month, like, uh, yeah, so go check that out, and, um, do I have anything else to say? If you got to the end, comment star quality, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Love you lots, and this has been Tajani. Talk soon. Bye. Touching the fog, everything, fog.